Hallelujah. What a joy. Find strength and grace to celebrate. Joyful victory. Father, we bless your name. Hallelujah. We bless your name, Lord. Bless the Lord. Oh, my soul. We sing it. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. He has done great things. He has done great things. He has done great things. Bless his holy name. He has done great things. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We commence. We commence Psalm 126, season 7, with joy in our hearts. Joyful victory in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We sing it to Jesus. Hallelujah. We bless his holy Hallelujah. Name. I want to sing it to him. Sing it to him. Hey. Bless the Lord. Oh my soul. Oh my soul. And forget not his benefits. And all, and all that is within <laughs> me. Oh, hallelujah. Bless. So we bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Oh, my soul. Oh, my soul. And all that is, and all that is within me. Bless his soul. Psalm 103. What a blessing to be able to proclaim the wonderful words of the Lord, even as we sing and glorify his name. He's the wonderful, wonderful God that we honor and we bless him and we glorify him and we lift up our voices. We worship him in every way. Psalm 126, and then we go on to worship the Lord. Psalm 126, another song of ascents. When the Lord brought back the captives to Zion, we were like men who dream. Our mouths were filled with laughter, our tongues with songs of joy. Then it was said among the nations, The Lord has done mighty things. The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us and we are filled with joy. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like streams in the Negev. Those who sow in tears will reap with songs of joy. He who goes out weeping, carrying seed to sow, will return with songs of joy, carrying sheaves with him. What a joy, beloved, that we are able to proclaim the word of God and also to celebrate with joy, joyful victory of what God has enabled us to do. We bless the name of the Lord for helping us and bringing us into his presence constantly and to constantly and continuously glorify his name. Continuously. Where else can continuously. I go? Mm. Nowhere. <laughs> My father, we are grateful for joy comes in the morning and we are grateful for season 7 of this series of 150 days of Psalms, Lord, it has been your help. You are our helper. You are our helper, Lord. You are our helper. You are our defense. You are our great God. And we honor you today. We bless your name today. We magnify you. We say you reign, O oh God. We say you reign. We, we say you reign, Lord. We say you reign, our Father. We say you reign, King of Kings. We say you reign, Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. Just as your word declares, so do we believe in the mighty name of Jesus. 
Just as your word declares, so do we believe in the mighty name of Jesus. Psalm 126. It's a great delight. Um, thank you, Holy Spirit. It's a great delight to see the faithfulness of our God. To see the majesty of our God being proclaimed, being shown even to us in the mighty name of Jesus. That we will see his faithfulness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That our God is a mighty, mighty God who answers prayers and who comes forth in every situation, in every condition, that indeed his mercy will be evident into our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. We've just seen in 125, trust in God always. In 124, we have seen our eyes. We have seen, hallelujah, we give the glory to God. We give him all the glory for everything that he has done as we proclaim his mercies, as we proclaim his love, that as he proclaims his mass, you know, and you know, that we trust in God so much so that unless the Lord was on our side, you know, we would have been consumed. This is what we see. Unless the Lord had been on our side, we would have been completely consumed. And we see the faithfulness of God. The snare has been broken in the mighty name of Jesus. As we proclaim the word of God, the snare has been broken. As we proclaim the word of God, the eyes of our, our eyes are on the Lord. As we look to God and his strength, these are the wonders that God has given unto us that we are able to proclaim his word and remain proclaiming. Our eyes are on the Lord. The snare is broken. Trust God always. Joyful victory. Those four psalms that we have proclaimed back to back have the same message to us. That God would desire us to operate in the place of victory. In the place of great victory. That you may be able to experience great victory. If you have not watched the other episodes, it is good for you to watch the other episodes. You see that we began by saying our eyes are upon the Lord. We went on to say the snare is broken. We went on to say, trust God always. And now, as I proclaim this one, I come to declare joyful victory. Joyful victory. Joyful. It is a joy to be able to glorify the name of the Lord. Heartfelt, looking to him and say, Lord, even though I don't see anything, I trust you. Even though I have not seen anything, I trust you. You know, even in that dark room, he is the light. of, And he will bring delight to you. He is uh, the mighty one of Israel. He can never leave us. He can never forsake us. The great hallelujah praise that always constantly is flowing from the throne of mercy. Hallelujah. Around in heaven, there are no supplications. In heaven is just pure worship, pure worship all the time. You are worthy, O Lord and God, to receive glory and honor and power. For you created all things, and by your will they were created. And have their being, for you are worthy, O Lord and God, to receive glory and honor and power, for you created all things, and by your will they were created. And have they been? That is Revelation chapter 4, verse 11. That starts in verse 10. Let me just read it out from verse 9. It says, Whenever the living creatures give glory, honor, and thanks to him who sits on the throne and who lives forever and ever, 
the twenty and four elders fall down before him who sits on the throne and worship him who lives forever and ever. They lay their crowns before the throne and say, You are worthy, O Lord and God, to receive glory and honor and power, for you created all things, and by your will they were created and have their being. Revelation 4 and verse 11. Don't you forget that. That around the throne, whenever the living creatures give glory, honor, and thanks to him who sits on the throne and who lives forever and ever, the twenty and four elders fall down before him who sits on the throne. And he says that. You are worthy, you are worthy, you are worthy, you are worthy, you are worthy to receive glory and honor and power. For you created all things, and by your will they were created and have their being. You are worthy. To receive glory and honor and power for you created all things and by your will they were created and have their being. Revelation 10 6 also says Revelation 10 and verse 6 it says, And he swore by him who lives forever and ever, who created the heavens and all that is in them, the earth and all that is in it, and the sea and all that is in it, and said, There will be no more delay. Beloved of God, you could be looking at different scenarios, probably. You are thinking about a delayed payment or a delayed answer to prayer or a delayed kind of circumstance. The word of the Lord is establishing it for us today. That is time to declare joyful victory. As we do those four, uh, three other things we have said. The one we look to the Lord. Our eyes are on him. As the other one, the snare has been broken. Uh, we see again, we put our trust in the Lord, and now we proclaim a joyful victory. I am Malcolm David. Expect more from God today. He's removing all those things that you have been, that have been stumbling blocks in your way. May God give you victory in every category, and may God answer you when you call on Him. Hallelujah. May he come through in your situation that we will stand with the psalmist and say, when the Lord brought back the captives to Zion, we were like men that dream. We pray also in Israel right now, currently what's happening, we pray for the return of the captives. We pray that God will have mercy on anyone kidnapped, anyone that has been taken unlawfully. And we most importantly ask God for the light of God's salvation that the evangelist will rise up within, America, within Israel, within Gaza. Let the believers in those zones begin to reach out for souls, that many will come to Christ, that many will not die without Jesus. I am Malcolm David. It's time to proclaim joyful victory, joyful victory over Israel, joyful victory over our lives. Shalom, shalom, shalom. I will be back. And the Lord is helping us by his grace. We are on season seven and we are going to end it pretty soon by the glory of God. Hallelujah. As he enables us. So we continue to move by his speed. 
and we thank God for allowing us to make these recordings on the 3rd of November between 8 and 10 a.m. We've been able to do that from live Nairobi. Shalom. We'll see you later on. Shalom.